Hello everyone, so I'm going to be doing a soulmate and twin flame reading. Um, this wouldn't really apply to karmic partners. This would probably be um, putting the intention in of tapping into the energy of somebody who's more likely to be a, a soul connection or a life partner for you. And I'm just going to look into what where they're at, what they want you to know right now. Um, we'll just see what the story is. I'm not really sure yet what specific group of soulmates and twin flames I'm going to be channeling, so it's totally possible that my zodiac readings will resonate with you, but that this per these particular readings will not resonate with you um, if it's not your story. So just keep that in mind. Um, we'll see what the cards say, see how it all plays out. But, but yeah, you can go ahead and check out my Zodiac videos and, and keep following my Zodiac videos if, if that's your story and that's resonating with you, but you're not part of this group that I'm channeling here. So, and you'll know what your story is. Um, and again, these are for, so this could be female-female relationships. It's for the divine feminines, what your, your masculine wants you to know. So it's anyone that identifies as female or anybody that's just in feminine energy. So don't get caught too, don't get too caught up on the way I word things, you know. It's just anyone, yeah, anyone that's in this feminine energy that's resonating with this. And again, it's either your story or it isn't, you know. You'll you'll know if this is resonating for you. And I will be doing these more and more regularly, so if it does res resonate or if my zodiac readings resonate for you, go ahead and and subscribe to me. Okay, what is the story? What is what does your masculine want you to do right now? Domination, control, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. Could be those in a third party situation or they're just healing from the damage that a karmic did to them. Healing from somebody who just manipulated them and just kind of killed them and just, you know, there was red flags that they ignored. They had hidden motives. They just got used. They got... This is this could be verbal abuse. It could be be physical abuse for some of them. They just got manipulated. They got drained. Somebody could have been using them for money or sex or something else as well. Um, someone just kind of had a hold on them for a while. There's this energy of domination and control. And so I think your your person is kind of working through that energy right now. They're healing from a karmic. They're they're either working on leaving a karmic situation or they're single and they're they they are loyal to you, but they're they've still got some stuff from the past that they're trying to heal. And I think that the if there's like a chase or chase you game between you guys, like a, a bit of a, a power struggle here between you. It's it's saying that it's it originates from the pain that this karmic caused them in the past it's it originates from that wound that they haven't fully healed yet they're afraid of letting go of control they're afraid of letting somebody fully in they're afraid of just opening their heart again but we do have so yeah if there's been that chaser chasey dynamic it's like kind of back and forth hot cold it's like you guys get close and then they just get scared it's, it's these old wounds that they've been trying to suppress, these old wounds from the karmic that they've been trying to suppress and trying to ignore and trying to just move on from, but they haven't really fully done the healing and, and looked at it and really released it yet. You know, they've just kind of ran from it. So it's like when you guys get close, they might kind of play games or it's like they kind of ignore you a little bit here and there and there's just like a power struggle where they try to try to stay in control. It's like maybe you guys message each other and you maybe try to play a little hard to get and you you wait an hour to message them back well in return they wait three hours to message you back it's that kind of thing where they're like no i'm gonna be in control i'm not gonna get hurt again um and and so so yeah they they have to they're coming out of that energy though they i think they are healing from that power struggle they're starting to recognize that this is a genuine sacred connection that they have with you here and that they don't need to make it a power struggle. They don't need to make it so difficult. Um, they can let go of the games. And you're matching each other's energy, too. It's like if they stop playing games, you won't play games either, you know? Yeah, end of a pattern or a cycle, breakthrough. Ooh. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. You know, ending this, ending the, the ties to the karmic, ending a karmic relationship, ending 
this these the games you know realizing that this is a genuine connection and they're going to start seeing things from a higher perspective we've got listening and understanding new perspective true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness your faith and your bravery and so i think that that is I feel like you guys are mirroring each other in this aspect too, where you're both healing and you're both you're you're both in how do I explain that? You're both starting to work from a more spiritual level. You're both getting in touch with your higher selves. You're both starting to get into this this adventurous kind of free spirited spiritual energy where things just flow to you naturally and effortlessly. You're starting to love life again. Your passion for life is coming back. This new perspective, this higher understanding, being able to listen without instantly reacting, um, just seeing things from this higher perspective. I think you guys are mirroring each other in that aspect with this spiritual energy. And it could also be as re a result of this love. It's like you have this new love here, and so it's kind of opening up your passion for life again. We've got choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Hmm. So yeah, as they end this pattern or this cycle or whatever it was, and they come into this new higher perspective, they're going to want to talk to you more and more. They're just trying to choose their words wisely, especially if a lot of time has gone by and you guys haven't talked. They're really trying to figure out what to say because they don't know where you're at at this point. They don't know where your head's at. They don't, want know, they don't know what's going on in your heart space, so they're not sure what to say. They really want to you know, plan their, their plan it out carefully. They 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 don't know if you, if they say, "Hey, how's your day?" If you're gonna say, "Hey, screw off," it's been weeks or months since we've talked, you know, um, and they don't want to just pour it all out and come on too strong either. So they're really trying to figure out what to say to you. A lot of them have been kind of focused on finances and career. Some of them might be just trying to get financially stable and get their career stable and get that aspect of their life in order so that they can come forward with this this love offer and this commitment for you. So let's see what else the cards have to say about it. Okay, so we know that they're finally being forced to heal from the karmic. They're they're breaking that cycle right now and they're coming through. So let's let's look at the situation after they break that cycle. So after they get out of this karmic relationship or just if they're single and they're just healing from what the damage the karmic did what does that look like for you guys what is what do we need to know about that sadness nostalgia yeah i think that they're i think they were so wrapped up in their own lives like work the karmic, just their own lives, that they kind of neglected you, and they caused their own sadness, and now they're going to get to this point where they're nostalgic and they're longing for you. They realize that the grass wasn't greener. So if they chose the karmic over you, they're realizing that the grass wasn't greener on the other side, and they're wanting to come through. Um, or they just got so wrapped up in their head about what the, the damage the karmic did, you know, this fear of trusting, fear of letting go, fear of opening up that they kind of sabotage things and now they're they're sad about it and they're nostalgic and they're longing and they're wanting to come through. We've got anger and miscommunication. We've got clubs, parties, social life. We've got divine intervention and synchronicity. Sex and seduction. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Confusion and uncertainty. And again, end of a, of a pattern. So... It's good. It's really good energy for you guys. This could be saying that if you met them at like a club or a party or some kind of social event like through friends that it was divinely orchestrated. Like your guides were bringing you guys together basically. That was that was destiny that you guys experienced. Okay, I'm getting a specific message here, but I think this is probably just a message for one or two people, not for the majority of you, but I should I should just say it anyway and then I'll go back to the general read that I'm getting here. So for some of you, there was some anger or miscommunication that took place at like a club or a party or a social event, some kind of social event where you guys misunderstood each other and you got in an argument and they're really thinking back on it now and they feel this sadness and pain and regret and they want to apologize for it. Um, and the divine kind of intervened here and showed them that there was miscommunication, 
and that you guys actually were on the same page and they're sort of transmuting that that passionate energy you guys have to like this sexual seductive type energy so it's like the plus side of partying if that makes sense it's like more like this beautiful mysterious sexual kind of energy they're transmuting it to so that was just a specific message for a couple of you you just saw a negative side of them that they wish you had had seen I want to go more into this these two cards because I think for a lot of you what this is saying is maybe you did meet them when they weren't at a great place in their life like they were angry cold couldn't communicate well just some type of negativity but you know it's like you were there when they needed you the most you were there when they were in that dark place you know because we've got clubs parties social life so it could be a club or a bar or something but it could also be just some type of social event something out in public where you guys like met each other maybe for a lot of you for the first time and it was it's divine intervention like it's just like synchronicity like everything with your with your meeting everything just kind of fall fell into place like everything just just happened naturally everything fell into place and they were just so seduced by you they were so enthralled by you that you kind of distracted them from their pain for a little bit whatever this this negative energy they were in it's like the divine intervened and brought you guys together and you were there for them in this dark place that they were in in their lives and they were just enthralled by your your seductiveness your beauty your mystery your enchantment it kind of got them out of this dark place and i think they're realizing too some of them might be real um nostalgic and and in this pain and thinking back to how you guys met and it's helping them end this confusion and uncertainty i think they're becoming more and more aware of the synchronicities they're becoming more and more aware that this is destiny that the divine had a role in this maybe they're opening up to their spiritual psychic side as well and they're realizing, you know, you guys are soulmates or you guys are twin flames. They're, they're realizing, they're noticing the 1111s or the, the synchronicity. They're noticing the signs. They can't ignore the signs any longer. And I think they're thinking back to the night that you guys first met. They're thinking that maybe something you are wearing or something you did or said, they're just thinking back to that. They're thinking like kind of starting to realize or sense on some level that that was destiny and I think knowing that they're starting to have trust and faith in the universe and it's helping them end this confusion and uncertainty and fear that they've been in. It's helping them end this karmic cycle that they were in. Can we get anything else on, you know, so the night that you guys met, what is there, what is, is there anything more to say about that? codependency and addiction and then we've got betrayal jealousy and conflict here yeah i think you kind of provided an escape from them for them for whatever they were going through it's like you provided this escape or maybe they were just in this codependent situation and there was just a lot of drama especially if there's like a third party situation here and then we've got overthinking over analyzing self-sabotage spying and hidden truth so i think that the night i don't know why they're taking us back to the night you guys met but there's something about like them overthinking and overanalyzing and self-sabotage like maybe some energy here like thinking you wouldn't want them if you knew the truth because they've got some kind of hidden truth so it's almost like they just admired you from afar like they just kind of spied on you um what's this card that wants to come out okay taking it slow um it's like they just spied on you and they had this hidden truth. Maybe they had a karmic relationship you didn't know about or they just had something going on that they didn't want to tell you about. And so they just kind of spied on you and loved you from afar for a long time. But I feel like they're coming out of that energy. So what's what do we need? What are you trying to say, Spirit? What are you trying to say about this energy? I'm just going to pull a few more cards and then that's it. So what do you want to tell us about this? What's the message here? What are you trying to say about this? Are they coming out of that energy? What's going on with that? Maybe something about the way you dressed or the way just the... Yeah, there was a third-party distraction that night. Vulnerability, receptivity, got hesitation, mixed feelings. And then we have 
a bold gesture, choosing love over fear, risk and reward, and then adventure, honeymoon, and vacation. So it's all really good energy here. It's possible the night that, that you guys first met, they had some shit going on with the karmic at that point that was making them angry or on edge or something, and they want to apologize for that. And then on top of it, I get this strong feeling that they're feeling that the whatever the circumstances were of your meeting or you bumping into each other they feel like that was just destiny like they feel like that was meant to happen like you guys were meant to find each other you know they just they had this third party distraction in the past this karmic partner karmic energy but i feel them and third party could be like it could just be their own fear it could be just any third party energy that's distracting them it doesn't necessarily have to be a person but they had this third party energy that was just a distraction for them and then you kind of provided that this escape from that like you they just connected with you deeply and they're like i think it all came in really quickly like oh maybe i don't want this third party anymore maybe i want something more real more solid i think it kind of threw them off i think the the circumstances of your meeting it was just divinely orchestrated it was just just destiny and they know it's destiny and they're thinking about that night the details of that night there or the, or that day they're they're going they're in their head about it um like i said i do feel like they're healing from a karmic so i don't really get if they are still with the karmic i feel like they they've detached and they're currently healing and finding a way out i think most of them probably are not with the karmic anymore most of them are probably like have moved on from that and they're just healing the damage and learning how to trust and open up again i think that in contrast with the damage it's like they were so vulnerable and receptive and open to you and you put them in this energy so quickly that you just caught them off guard like just that that night to them was just magical whatever it was that happened it was like just meeting you seeing you it was like a love at first sight type of thing where they were just it was just destiny uh just just so real so different than what they had with the karmic it really threw them off because they were used to being in this like competitive defensive energy with the karmic and then it's like you came along and you made them so vulnerable and open and you brought this soft loving side of themselves out that they hadn't been in touch with for a long time and i think it almost like it scared them in a way it's like they have you've got hesitation mixed feelings here where it was like very just the contrast you know going from being defensive and being on edge with the karmic and all the drama with the karmic to going to someone who's just so sweet and loving and empathetic and open it was like just that vulnerability it was like such a huge switch that it almost like scared them like they almost didn't trust their own feelings like they kind of it just came in so quickly it almost threw them off but the energy I'm getting from this reading is that they're going back to that night, though, that they're thinking a lot about that night, the details, they're going back in their head to it, and they're realizing that that they ran away too quickly because you were so different than the karmic and were so different from their exes or the damage. Again, even if they weren't in a third party, just the damage that was there, just their exes in general, you were so different and it threw them off. And so they kind of just have these mixed feelings and confusion, like, why is this so different? Why is this so good? Is this too good to be true? This is so real. What's going on here? And so they just kind of ran because they didn't understand that. It, they didn't understand the energy. They didn't understand that kind of true love at first sight type of love. They didn't understand that energy. And so they kind of just ran. But I think their guides are showing them certain things about that night. So they're going back in their head to that night and they're like, you know what? Like that... I shouldn't have been afraid of that that was real like that love at first sight that energy the way we were talking the way we could just talk for hours the way we just all of that it was real it wasn't just seduction it wasn't just lust it was something very solid and real and I shouldn't have ran I should have really thought about it more and, and tried to take things slower and been more steady with it so I think they're having these epiphanies and realizations about that night and then they're coming towards you. They're taking this bold gesture, choosing love over fear. You know, it's a risk, but they're they're coming forward. And they're wanting this adventure, honeymoon, vacation with you. They might want to travel with you. Um, or they just want that energy back from that night. Like if it was a really passionate, romantic night, they're nostalgic for that. They're longing for that. And they're wanting that that adventure, that honeymoon type energy back. And, and they're just, they're having these epiphanies and just... Um, rethinking things and and note and finally realizing that this is destiny 
So if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.